Hi, today I'm reviewing the TM AC Fighting Acne Spot Cream. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, check out my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, so this is a video about this product as well as about uh, an ingredient called uh, spicules. Spickles. Spicules. Which there's not a ton of information out, but I thought I would talk about it because it's been used in a few um, kind of popular products uh, as well from one product that was at Sephora, the Dr. Minus Serum. So, um, okay, so I'll start talking about this and when I get to the ingredients, I'll talk about what are spicules. So, this uh, product has active ingredients such as centella, tea tree, and zinc that effectively shrinks and reduces the size of existing pimples promotes cell regeneration and recovery of red spots. Spicules and niacinamide reduce the appearance of acne-related hyperpigmentation. And then uh, they go on to say, spicules are needle-like anatomical structures with a size of 10 to 100, uh, the thing smaller than millimeters, like UM, found in sea sponges living in the clean seas. They can help deliver active ingredients deeper into the skin. And we'll see what I really think about that. So... Okay, my first criteria is packaging and nice, simple tube packaging. No issues with that at all. In terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, this does not contain any of that. And it has no noticeable scent for fragrance, but it does have a small amount of tea tree oil, which um, is innately kind of a fragrance ingredient, yet it is highly effective and has actually has a purpose in skincare, other, unlike some other fragrant essential oils. Manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. So, uh, ease of use. So with this cream, they actually have a whole line. They've got moisturizer, they've got a cleanser, they've got a toner with this line. Um, this one is more of a spot treatment, so you just apply it to areas of concern and slightly massage it into skin. Uh, some slight stinging may occur, which they say is from the spicules kind of uh, absorbing into skin. Uh, definitely has a white cast because uh, it's got a high amount of zinc oxide in it. So personally, this one is probably better used in your evening routine and not so much in the daytime. Uh, it kind of becomes a little bit messy, but just apply it to the areas of concern and let it sit there and absorb overnight and then rinse off in the morning. Um, if you have uh, post-acne marks, you can apply this uh, every night for a few weeks and it will help kind of reduce the redness from some of the ingredients in here. Um, so antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So we've got 10% niacinamide. Niacinamide is great for so many things. It's anti-acne, it helps the skin barrier heal, fades dark spots, and studies show that if you use even just a small concentration of niacinamide uh, daily for two months, it will help lighten pigmentation issues. Um, it's also great for acne prevention and reducing acne. Also can help with anti-inflammatory properties. So if you have issues or frequent breakouts, it's certainly a try. It also can help reduce uh, sebum. And then again, inflammatory and also helps speed up wound healing. So that makes it great for uh, acne breakouts, things like that. Uh, then we've got zinc oxide, which zinc oxide is typically in, you see it in sunscreens or diaper creams. It's great because it's anti-inflammatory. It is skin soothing. It is wound healing. It helps uh, kind of the inflammation reduce as well. So zinc is very calming, healing, and protecting for the skin, which also makes it great for breakouts. Um it also can soothe redness, decrease the size of pimples, and slow down oil production. Then we've got sunflower seed oil, which is a great emollient that also helps heal damaged skin barrier, making it great for acne and breakouts. Small amount of tea tree oil, good antioxidant, anti-acne, antibacterial, and antiseptic. So it's kind of naturally a good acne treatment. Although if you have very sensitive skin, keep that one in mind because... A very small portion of tea tree oil is the fragrance ingredients, which can potentially cause issues. So keep that one in mind. 
Uh, then we've got kind of a combination of azeotic acid, azeotic acid, and metacasic acid. They're all compounds derived from Centella asiatica that all help with redness, calming, soothing, and hydrating the skin. Then we've got sponge listed on the ingredient list, and that is those spicules they're talking about. So there's not a lot of real studies that I can find on spicules. They're kind of a newer ingredient uh, that have come up through K-Beauty. So they, in theory, sponge spicules can stimulate the dermis of the skin um, and start surface microcirculation, improve um, the natural exfoliation of the skin. I found the patent for it. And the patent reads, the sponge spicule skin physical penetration enhancer composition can be directly smeared onto clean skin. It can overcome a skin stratum corneum barrier and promote percutaneous absorption of active components in a medicament, a vaccine, and a cosmetic. The active components can enter each layer of skin or enter the whole body for blood circulation or absorbed by the skin capillary vessel. The skin physical penetration enhancer can be used for local administration or for whole body absorption, or it can be used in skincare cosmetics to increase per percutaneous absorption of active compounds. So basically what the patent is saying is that this spicule is like a little miniature needle and it can penetrate the layers of your skin and go deeper uh, into the skin instead of just being like topical and on this the main level of skin it can go deeper into skin that's what the patent says do i totally buy it as like this next great amazing thing i've used other serums that have contained spicules that i think it was private doctor they had like this minus serum at sephora and it had spicules which was supposed to help sculpt your skin and I'm not necessarily sure I totally buy it as like a whole face treatment. Although I think if a spicule is used with like an active ingredient like niacinamide, maybe it does help niacinamide go a little bit deeper. Especially things like acne, the skin is usually already broken. So perhaps that can go a little bit deeper and heal. That's It probably does something, but it's probably not as amazing as they make it sound. I did find this to perform nicely. I thought it helped uh, with dark spots, absolutely. Was it just the niacinamide? Was it the spicules in the niacinamide? I think it probably was a combination of both of them. I'm not totally sold on spicules being this amazing thing for your entire face, but if there's an active ingredient that you really want your face or certain areas of your face to absorb, I think it probably does help. So is it amazing? No. Is it maybe beneficial? Yes, that's my thoughts on it. Okay, the TM brand is cruelty-free. Performance I just talked about, I really thought it do, does help speed up the healing process. And it does help with dark spots. The nice thing with this is you could use this in combination with other anti-acne treatments, such as you could put benzoyl peroxide on and then use this after that, or salicylic acid and then follow with this. That's the nice thing. I personally don't think for major breakouts and things like that, I would only rely on this but you can use this in combination with other treatments, which makes it a really nice option. Uh, you know, so use it with other things and it might really help. I found for me, it does help and it really did help with dark spots. Um, in terms of the price, so there is no real size on this. Oh, there is one ounce, one ounce, okay. So on the K-Beauty sites, it retails for between $16 and $9, depending on where you get it. A little bit goes a long way, so a tube like this will probably last me like five years. <laughs> so, although it will be expired long before then, but a little bit goes a long way, so it's pretty affordable. Then in terms of the it factor, personally, the spicules is probably a lot of marketing, but I think it does help. Uh, it really does help uh, kind of help the inflammation uh, process and speed up the healing process. Also helps reduce dark spots over time. Super convenient, easy to use, and can be used with other products and no drying alcohols. So I really did like this product. I was pretty impressed with it. So um, it does have a little bit of a tinkling when you apply it, which sometimes isn't a good thing. But if you know the niacinamides in there and those little micro needles, I'd love to see it in a microscope. But 
I don't know. The interesting thing is you can buy those sponge spicules online for like 99 cents for like a gram or 10 grams or something. So I don't know. Whatever. So anyway, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 10. So I'm interested in hearing your thoughts if you've tried this one yet and uh, what your thoughts are. So definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you. Or leave your thoughts on spicules. Anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you more tomorrow.